I got something tonight that the Lord thy God laid on my heart. I've been preaching 35 years. I was a young man. I lived through the 1968 riots. And uh, this 2020 riots we had now, I'm talking about the terrorists now. I'm not talking about the protesters. They had the right freedom of speech to do with their marchers and stuff. But this 2020 uh, riot is more physical and more financial damage than 1968 rights was. And the New World Order and the socialist commies and the uh, liberal socialists, and it's the people here, Athafa and anarchies, and uh, the people who hate President Trump and, and even uh, this guy give this to me in 40 minutes right here, 40 minutes, his masterpiece is from his throne room. Terrorists are hiding in protesters' march. Protesters have their freedom of speech to march peacefully. Protesters don't steal, kill, loot, or burn buildings down in their protesters' march. The terrorists kill, loot, and burn buildings for their plans to destroy the Republic of the United States of America. The terrorists are the New World Order, commies, liberal socialists, anarchists, anathath, people who hate the United States and U.S. President Donald Trump. The terrorists want to destroy our freedoms and U.S. Constitution. U.S. President Trump is right to use U.S. military to stop the killing, looting, destroying, stealing is out of control. The Democrat governors in the United States are standing down for the dirty political reasons for U.S. President Trump to lose the U.S. 2020 presidential election. The Democrats' governors in the United States are seeing their illegal alien sanctuary states burning to the ground in foreign ashes. The poor in these sanctuary states will be infected with homelessness, all jobs gone, and no hope for the future to recover. This is a Bible prophecy being fulfilled, and Jesus is knocking on the doors of the United States to return soon. Only God's raiment will survive till Jesus returns. This master priest, 40 minutes of God is or Jesus, Savior, Messiah, give me. God bless you. Me and Betty love you here. At least the brother ministry in Pinkville, Illinois.